I know you've worked here a long time. 34 years. But your job performance has been way past poor. And you've been late, to say the least. Well, I'll just call Louse and let her know I'll be running a little late now. How you dial out on this phone? Wait. Does that look like a payphone to you? I am so tired of you people always wanting something for nothing. What do you mean, you people? Let me tell you something about we people. 22 out of the 34 years I worked here, I was never late. When black folks were only good enough to walk in through the back door, I was here and I was never late. Now, you see, I deserve to be treated with some respect. Two people like me, colored folk, Negroes, black people, breaking their backs day in and day out so that African Americans like you can stand here acting so high and mighty today. So now you want your 40 acres and a mule? <laughs> this is a business ran by a board of directors who don't particularly care what you think you deserve. Now, this is my last time. Now, either you're going to go up those stairs, clean those rooms, or you're fired. Do I make myself clear, Emma? You know what? You're the kind of person that will never get ahead in life. You're so worried about yourself and trying to please these folks, and they wouldn't give a rusty nickel for you. You're fired. Business is business. It surely is. I'm the blessing that kept this hotel from going under. And it was God that have kept these doors open so I can feed my family. I got two babies to raise now, and you would do me like this just to make yourself look good? <laughs> May God have mercy on your soul. You don't know who you're talking to. You see, the Bible says, do not touch my anointed. You cannot mess with the child of God. You better be gone. Lord, now what am I going to do?